how is it that um, when you know like at 82 you know full well how to go about and it's still there is you know forces anti-forces always coming in and messing things up I see that happening all the time. The intellect was not in his never deep enough. It only gives you images, maps. <laughs> Words, advices, never the real thing. It may tell you to not to go in a particular direction, but it will not give you the right direction. It may tell you to not to eat something, but it will not give you the right food. So intellectually you may know that eating something is not good for you. But that knowledge will not satisfy your hunger. You are still hungry. The advice that the intellect has given you is all right, not false. Useful in its place. But will that advice fill this up? That's the limit of the intellect. The intellect is never deep enough. The intellect may tell you don't do this, don't do that. But it doesn't understand that as long as that hollow exists here, you will have that inner urge to do exactly what the intellect prohibits you to do. The intellect is like the stupid mother. Teaching the kid to not to eat street food. But not serving him good homemade food. Now the kid is hungry. The hunger is the reason why he is going towards the unhygienic and unhealthy street food. Merely telling him to avoid street food will not help. You must give him the real thing. And then he will naturally not go to street food. Your advice is right but useless. The advice is good but useless. Instead of teaching the kid so much, you should have simply given him the right food and then you wouldn't have needed to teach. Forget abstinence. Stop resisting junk food. If you know where the right food is, with all your power and energy, go towards that. That's the simple solution. If you keep yourselves hungry, you will be forced to eat anything. Hmm? We know of hungry men in desperate situations. Very non-violent people turn to killing. People 
marooned on islands in warlike situations or in other emergencies they might be in general vegetarians but when it comes to the crisis an empty stomach an empty heart they would kill they would eat snakes they would even eat rotten flesh men have been known to drink urine because water is not available so they would drink their own urine that's what happens when the real becomes unavailable to you then you are prepared to go even to rotten flesh prepared to drink even your own urine the funny thing is the real is never really unavailable then why are you drinking urine it's like drinking your own urine by the side of the ganga <laughs> and what are you saying because there is no water so this is the only natural thing that i could get <coughs> it's so cold and this is at body temperature <laughs> and it is loaded with minerals <laughs> fresh from the source <laughs> you can find a thousand virtues in the golden thing the ganga is flowing in front of you rosmarin what are you drinking the intellect is poor but it's trying to do its job the intellect is trying to advise sanely it's just that the advice won't suffice the advice is not wrong but the advice is just insufficient that is why books and scriptures fail so often they give you the right advice they don't give you the right one you are not hungry for advice you are hungry for the right one you don't want something that would fill up your ears and your mind you want something that would fill this up that is available that's right i should rather ask you why have you denied yourself the right thing hmm? all corruptions come from a denial of the right the pure a fellow came to me very recently many of you know him one of the foundation's volunteers and he says acharya ji i am stuck my mind since the last few months is occupied with so much of sexual activity i'm fantasizing all the time we have a white board on which we 
track the progress of our people. How are they performing? I took the fellow by his arm, I took him to the Vaidur and said, look at how you are doing here. He hadn't done even half of what he was supposed to do. I said, this is from where you are stealing time to indulge in your fantasies. Had you been honest here, you wouldn't simply have had the occasion, the time, the space to be occupied with nonsense. When you deny yourself the right, then corruption sneaks in. Otherwise, corruption won't get the space. I have given you such a rich schedule from morning till night. You have to play, you have to read, you have to learn music. You have to look at videos. You have to use your discretion to determine which part to keep and which part to edit out. You have to choose your discretion to see which part is worthy of going to the broader audience. And you have so much. It's such a rich day that is open and available to you. But you commit theft. You steal time. And then you use that time to fantasize and all the other rubbish. What comes first? The disease or the denial of health? Come on. Why are you complaining of disease? See how you have denied health. See how you have stood in opposition to health. Do the right thing. The wrong anyway won't find space. Hmm? And that is the only way. To keep the wrong away, keep it waiting. Rubbish will keep coming to you. It's a stream, incessant. It will just keep coming. It will keep knocking your door. You cannot keep turning it away all the time. One knock would be followed by the next one. Maya is a continuous flow. Things are continuously hitting your senses, are they not? You will never get a moment's respite. So only way is to keep it waiting. Don't turn it away. Tell it, right now I am busy. Try your luck another time. Wait for an hour at least. And after an hour, she should still find you busy. If she finds you with not the right one and hence single, then you are gone. She is always ready to step into God's shoes. She is always ready to act as a proxy lover. When you deny yourself the real lover, the proxy one is always eager to fill in the blank. Don't let the blank come to you. The responsibility is totally upon you. The moment that blank comes, rubbish will fill that up. Nothing but rubbish would rush in to fill that up. There should be no interruption. 
your life must be a continuous flow of the sacred without gaps without any leniencies or relaxations you must not ask for time outs you must not ask for personal spaces the moment you say ah can i be away for a while can i have some personal time some personal space ah, you know who is going to occupy that space now your only hope your only savior is the real the truth cling to that as one clings for dear life cling to truth as the baby monkey clings to its mother little bit of distance from the mother the little one is so helpless anyone can carry it away even a cat can carry away the baby monkey cling to the real not for a moment should you forget not for a moment should there be separation hmm? you are mentioning cling to the truth um, like uh, for me clinging to the truth is is it a thought or to push away everything and just be like be in love with your peace that is what i mean by clinging to the truth you must be absolutely in love with peace with simplicity with reality cling to them never barter them never compromise on them never be bored of them often we try substitutes just for a change you know too much of anything is not good kabir said अति का भला न बरसन आती की भली न धूप द बुद्धा टू टॉक ऑफ द मिडिल पाथ सो दीज डेज आई फील आई हैव टू मच ऑफ द ट्रुथ सो आई एम गोइंग टू ट्राई द फॉल्स लिटिल यू डू नॉट नो वॉट यू आर स्टेपिंग इन टू somebody needs just one lapse from your side it's like the game of cricket as a batsman you might have played out 100 deliveries it's still just one delivery is enough to knock your wickets out just one delivery is needed at any point in the innings you might be batting at a personal score of 300 still how many deliveries does it take to send you back just one so not even a moment's lapse is allowed irrespective of who you are somebody is waiting for just that little break in your determination your devotion just that little period of boredom when you say you want to have a little fun maya doesn't gun you down she funs you down hmm? 
most of us are funded down by Maya. Some countries are now so troubled by guns, they are thinking of gun control. When we'll have a more evolved world, then we'll think of fun control. In the name of fun. Oh, I'm just having some entertainment. A little bit of good time doesn't harm anybody. Uh, sorry, it doesn't happen that way. Two-third of this world's population exists. <coughs> Just because two people thought they were having some harmless fun. It's easy to get into these things. It's very difficult to pull out timely. <laughs> And there are some, if we are talking of a continuous stream of attention, of devotion, and we are warning against the few intermittent gaps and blanks in between. It is as if there is continuous presence, 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 presence. And then there is just a little bit of absence. For most of us, there is continuous absence, absence, absence. <laughs> then there are two days of presence. Every two months, Kamlesh comes once to the camp. And then he forgets everything. Absence, absence, absence. Four days of presence. And then his own glitzy world. There is no bigger threat and curse to the seeker of truth than this thing called personal time and personal space.
That is the first thing that you must give up. If you are really genuine about liberation, The desire to have personal time or space is, as I have seen, is not much about doing what you doing X Y Z or particular things, but it is more about doing certain things as per of your own understanding, like whatever that is. Personal understanding. As per your own uh, outlook, not understanding. Then what you are calling as your own. I just want to. Decodify that personal, so personal understanding, mm. limited personal understanding. So these two don't go together. It's like saying my personal sky. Okay. Personal. Understanding is always absolute. Attitudes can be personal. Opinions can be personal. Understanding has nothing personal about it. Hmm? Your house is personal because it's a little piece of the earth. The earth is not personal. Is the earth personal? You own the space inside your house because it's a little bit. But can you own space? Space is not personal. Anyone clamoring for or defending the personal is just defending his limitations and thereby his suffering. Right now, talking about personal space and personal freedom, um, utilizing it in the right way, like with the scriptures or uh, whatever, according to our understanding. So that's not a contradiction, right? Or that's where yeah, that too is a contradiction. You see, the personal has to be totally surrendered to something beyond yourself. You talked of scriptures. It is very important that you do not touch any scripture on your personal whim and fancy. Very, very important that the choice of the scripture must come from the Guru. Not all scriptures are meant for everybody. You will only pick the scripture that suits your comfort at that particular stage. There have been so many, just so many, who have been spoilt by reading the scriptures. There are so many who quote the scriptures to defend their nonsense. Very recently, from one of the groups, Anshu had to remove one such person. He was quoting J. Krishnamurti. He has nothing for J. Krishnamurti. He does not understand J. Krishnamurti. But he would quote J. Krishnamurti to defend his personal nonsense. So it is not going to be anything uh, useful like in the personal 
you will have to go to the definition of the person who is the person what do you mean by personality who is the person you really want to go by them you really want to support them then what is the point of self dissolution what do we mean by surrendering them if the personal self is to be maintained then what are you seeking liberation from liberation means liberation from the personal self nothing else what is surrendered to the absolute all that is personal this personal self is ego is it not there is this beautiful one somebody asked the satan what do you do when you have to corrupt someone to the satan with a smirk said not much good i just go whisper in their ears your time is your time you understand this the satan tells people your time is your time which means you have rights over your time which means your time is your personal time your time belongs to you not to god not to the absolute the moment you get ownership over yourself you are gone spirituality is about giving up the ownership it is the work of the satan to convince you that your time is your your time your time is not your time your time is god's time you cannot spend it according to your personal wish acharya ji pre apne rozmarra ke jo bhi kaam hai unko hum kaise is disha mein aage badhaye krishna diya na samadhan जो करना है करो बेटा पर मुझे समर्पित करके अपने लिए मत करना मेरे लिए करना उस काम को करते वक्त ये परख लो कि उस काम से तुम्हारा व्यक्तिगत स्वार्थ सिद्ध हो रहा है या तुमसे आगे का कुछ मैंने बुद्ध स्थल में झाड़ू भी लगाया है छोटा काम है बहुत छोटा काम है कहने को पर किसी बहुत बड़ी दिशा में है करो छोटे छोटे काम दिन भर के बस ये देख लो कि किसके लिए कर रहे हो ये काम कर लिया तो किसका हित सधेगा भक्त होता है वो भगवान का मंदिर सजाता है और एक काम मन होता है वो रात के लिए सेज सजाता है सजा तो दोनों ही रहे बस ये देख लो कि किसका हित साध रहे हो किसके लिए कर रहे हो कृष्ण के लिए कर रहे हो या अपनी वासना के लिए कर रहे हो तो दिन भर जो भी कर रहे हो देख लो कि ये जो कर रहा हूं ये किसके हेतु तो कर रहा हूं कृष्ण ने तो दे दिया है कर्मयोग यही है कर तो रहे हो बस देख लो कि किसके लिए कर रहे हो तुम्हारा काम ठीक है या गलत उसकी परख बस यही है क्या कि उससे क्या आगे बढ़ेगा तुम्हारी वासनाएं या सच्चाई की गाड़ी
engaging in the personal like it uh, at least at the outset it seems like a vent 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 to breathe air like otherwise it's very suffocated what is suffocated in fresh air if truth suffocates you who are you hmm? if truth suffocates you tell me your name Was talking to a fellow. He had a problem in his stomach, and the problem was that he had bacterial imbalance. The intestine has many kinds of bacteria. The good bacteria in his intestine. Lowered in number and the mm. bad ones had proliferated, so there was an imbalance. He was on Ayurvedic medicine. The medicine that was given to him came with certain revelations. The revelations included eating really good food. Really healthy food. How did the thing work? Food that is really good for you gets digested easily and quickly. The bacteria are all there at the fag end of the intestine. Hmm? Way down the alimentary canal. If the food is good and healthy, then it gets absorbed quickly. So very little of it reaches the bacteria. So the bacteria are starved. One may say suffocated. That which is good for you will suffocate that which is bad for you. But if you are identified with the bacteria, God save you. That which is suffocating your ego is that which is really good for you. But you say, you know, the poor bacteria are being suffocated. Now give me some personal time. I'll go out and have food of my own. So that all the work that the doctor has done gets nullified. In fact, gets reversed. Next morning, you come back. Just with the personal space in a wrong way, like it's like the personal space is a space from the truth, it's not away from the truth. Back to square one.
because after all the work that was done upon me, I gave myself personal time. Next morning, back to square one. Simple discipline. Old school discipline. Mm. Nothing mm. beats that. Okay. Nothing beats that. The road to freedom. The road paved with discipline. To get real freedom, give up the personal freedom. Discipline is nothing but giving up of personal freedom. Personal freedom is just continuation of patterns. It is not freedom at all. Discipline means breaking of patterns. Discipline means you realize that there is something bigger than your personal freedom. To get real freedom, sacrifice your personal freedom. Yes, Anushka. Question. Laziness is also kind of personal. Freedom. Of course, well said. Also, my problem is like sometimes like nowadays laziness. You would have to give up personal freedom in all spheres. If you are suffering from laziness, it means that you stand in support of this so called personal self on many other occasions as well. It does not just raise its head suddenly. Hmm? You support it continuously. And only sometimes are you able to detect its effect. But the effect is continuous. Just as your support is continuous, the effect too is continuous. But sometimes when the effect is quite gross and also very apparently harmful, then you are able to detect it. Oh, I kept sleeping and missed the flight. Now you are able to detect it. Ah, missed the flight. That's a gross event. Now you say, ah, personal freedom is not a good thing because it made me miss the flight. But on other occasions, you are missing out on things subtle that you do not notice. 
and you don't regularly miss flights. So the ugliness of this personal freedom shows up only once in six months. The rest of the time you are complacent. You don't even know what harmful effects are coming upon you. Just thinking back about this morning, we were talking about the generals, you know, being undisciplined, amazing. <laughs> it's not gonna work. And sending back their torn dresses. Uh, it's a very specific question, like being disciplined. Uh, like if I have to get rid of it, maybe like it is mostly bodily. Like I miss so many things here also. But then like I get a lot of adrenaline in coming to Kennedy. So for me, like being fit, like for like getting up morning early and doing exercise, like when the dizziness doesn't come. So this, this we have talked about it actually. We talk so much of diseases. We do not talk of that whose absence is an invitation to disease. Hmm? Laziness means you are denying yourself the source of all energy. You are denying yourself that pep, that spunk, that enthusiasm. And therefore you are lazy. Why are you talking so much about laziness? Why aren't you talking about the denial? You are a young man still. Your life should be full of Vigor. You must be eager. Why have you denied yourself that spunk? Why is the sprite missing from your life? Hmm? Laziness comes in when it finds a vacancy. Why have you left a vacancy? Give yourself the freedom to be free. If the entire day you have burdened yourself with something that saps away your energy, then obviously you will find yourself lazy in doing many things. Your energy has already been drained out. Laziness is a result, not a disease. See where your energy has gone. Somebody is sucking out your energy. And energy, as you know, is not just physical. Energy is firstly mental. Mental energy always comes from truth. Shakti comes from Shiv. If you are forcing yourself to be away from the truth for long, long periods, if you are forcing yourself to be with the false for long, long periods, then obviously you will find yourself energyless. Shakti will not tolerate distance from Shiva. 
If you go away from Shiv, you also lose Shakti. You remember what we had once said? Hridaya me Shiv, to bhujao me Shakti. If you find that your arms have no energy, it means your heart has no Shiv. When Shiv is here, then Shakti is here. Give yourself something. That makes you feel as if you would explode. Give yourself something that makes you shiver. Give yourself something that makes you so uncomfortable. And then see whether or not you have energy. You have to allow yourself to enter into a humongous project, something far bigger than yourself. And that will awaken the sleeping latent energy within you. If you remain in your comfort zone, why do you need energy in the first place? All you do is a little bit of jogging, Going to the vegetable market, purchasing potatoes, why do you need energy? How much energy do you need to purchase potatoes? And that is the biggest thing that you do in the day. Jog for 160 meters or swim and purchase potatoes. Then you say I don't have energy. Even if you have energy. What will you do with it? More potatoes. You will buy a few more potatoes. <laughs> Give yourself a humongous project that would call up the energy, that would summon the energy. Otherwise, energy says, as you are sleeping, I too am sleeping. 